Hi folks, just thought I'd give you a quick look at a project I've been working on. This is something I've been wanting to do for quite some time, which is to make an in-circuit tester for TTL logic chips. So basically all of the simple logic gate chips that are on a board, instead of testing them one pin at a time with a logic probe or hooking up an analyzer and sorting through the analyzer outputs, you could just drop a, uh, a test clip. Uh, onto onto one of these chips and it would tell you if it's good or not uh, and I think the best way to do that would be to use an FPGA so that you can basically program the FPGA to be the TTL chip that you're trying to test and then you look for differences between what the simulated TTL chip is doing versus the actual I don't have an FPGA development board on hand right now, although I've ordered one. Uh, but I do have my Open Logic Sniffer, which uses an FPGA and actually services serves pretty well as an FPGA development board, especially since it has some five volt, five volt inputs, which a lot of them don't. Um, so I decided I would start with the simple simplest possible test I could think of, which is an inverter. This is a, a diagram for a 7404 inverter chip, and basically there's six logic gates on this chip, and one indi individual gate is just an inverter. It just puts out the opposite of what you put into it. So if you put in a high, you get a low. You put in a low, you get a high. Uh, very simple chip, very easy to model in the FPGA, so it was kind of a good starting point, and I could just do just one of them, just do a couple of pins. So I wrote up some VHDL code for that and loaded it into the analyzer and it's actually running right now uh, and I have two signal lines connected to ground and to 5 volts. So it's uh, as far as it, it knows uh, the input is ground and the output is 5 volts. So uh, it's act, you know, there's a, there's an inverter on these two pins. Now, if I unplug one of these, or if I put it onto the wrong, uh, so that now they're both high, uh, these two LEDs came on. The one on the left says there's currently an error, and the one on the right just clicks on as soon as there is an error and stays on. So in case you didn't happen to see this one blink, uh, that one stays on, so you know you had an error. So if I put it back onto ground. Uh, the current error light goes out, but the the there has been an error light stays on. So that's a very simple way to test it. Uh, so now let me hook it up to the actual board and we'll see what that does. Okay, I've got it attached to a 7404 on a Ladybug PCB, which is at location D6. And the board is powered off right now, so the uh, the tester is showing an error. Uh, if I turn it on, the uh, the current error goes away. The there has been an error stays on. But if I reset the tester, now that the board is powered up, now um, neither of them is on, meaning that the gate is working correctly, and it's actually constantly. Uh, simulating and verifying the chip and it's actually accurate enough that if I attach a logic probe to one of the lines uh, that's actually enough to alter the timing so that you can see that it's behaving slightly the FPGA is behaving slightly different from the chip uh, I may dial that sensitivity down a bit that will probably uh, result in some some false triggering it's also sensitive enough that if I reverse the two leads so the input and the output don't match. Um, it actually has an intermittent error, so it's picking up that the timing is slightly different between the simulated uh, gate because it's wired in reverse. So it actually sees intermittent errors on that. So it looks like it has some pretty good potential for doing very accurate testing of TTLs. The downside to it is writing the software for the FPGA is pretty difficult and you have to write code to model each one of the TTL chips you want to test. But once you have a library of that set up, uh, I think it should be 
pretty quick, especially if you had a nice pre-built interface cable so you don't have to plug these pins in every time. If you just, you know, connect it and connect it and hit test, uh, that could give you a very quick way of validating uh, what's going on with some of these TTLs. Because there's things that, that commonly fail, uh, like bus transceivers, 74LS, 245s, uh, there you can't really test them with a logic probe. A lot of failures that they have, you can't really pick up with a logic probe, and it's really tedious to do it with a logic analyzer. So I'm hoping that this will be an alternative that will work out uh, work out pretty well. So stay tuned. Uh, hopefully, I will have more progress to report on this. But I just wanted to make a note of it actually starting to do something. And uh, thanks for watching.